So we've been asked at Core Programming to produce a, a few videos which detail the integration of our new Sonos driver. Uh, and we've also decided to make this video to, to give a sort of overview into where this driver fits in the Elan ecosystem. So if we go back to uh, the basics, which uh, most of you will be aware of, uh, if we want to add Sonos into Elan, we go to Communication Devices, click Add New Communication Device, scroll down the list until we reach Sonos and click OK. Um, it's already been done on this system so I'm not going to click OK there but as you can see Sonos uh, drivers added and then that has discovered the two Sonos players. Obviously the driver currently uh, in a LAN it will work for Sonos Connects or Sonos Connect amps uh, so formerly the ZP90 and ZP120. Then uh, we come to take these sources and we need to pipe them out somewhere into the house. So to do that we have our matrix amplifiers, in this case uh, a Niles uh, Oriel. And uh, as you can see these music sources are uh, set here as inputs into the amplifier. Now when we're using a standard matrix amplifier like this uh, the driver is fine on its own because we set the output of the Sonos unit to fixed and all of the volume changes are done through the matrix amplifier itself. So it's merely a, a, essentially a, a dumb source outputting at a set volume. However, uh, that's all well and good apart from when we have say a Sonos Connect amp as a P120 where that might be driving a zone on its own. Uh, we might have multiple ones of these throughout a house uh, and yet to be able to control those currently in a LAN there's no real nice way of doing it. Um, so the, the recommended way that's currently available is to click add new zone controller and you just wait for uh, configurator to pull up the list there. Okay and uh, then we just scroll down to generic single zone controller and we click OK. So by using a, a generic single zone controller essentially uh, we're creating a bit of a workaround. So in here for the source we would then select the music source which would be outputting at a fixed level and then we'd have to put volume commands into the driver. So with Sonos we'd have a volume up command and we'd have a volume down command uh, which isn't particularly nice because it's a serial command, well it's an HTTP command technically which we're sending and uh, we're just going to be repeating that command uh, again and again so every volume increment involves a button press which isn't very nice from a, a user's perspective and similarly we have no idea uh, to know whether that Sonos amp started off at 90% or whether it started off at 10% without writing other event maps to send specific uh, volume levels which again it's more time for us as a dealer and it's a little bit uh, it's a little bit more unreliable uh, so what we've uh, endeavoured to do is to create a system which gets around that. Uh, there are some methods, as you've probably seen on the forums, where we're able to do uh, what's called fast volume ramping. And that essentially is uh, creating loops to repeat that programming. Uh, and again, that, that works, it provides a solution, but again, it's a workaround. It's uh, it's not really a, a solid, robust, reliable solution that we'd like to put out on, on large real world projects. And we've seen instances where it has caused problems. And that's why we've looked at developing a, a range of Sonos drivers. So here is one of our drivers. This one's actually the single zone and virtual matrix. Uh, we're able to put in the details and the setup of this will be detailed in another video. Uh, but essentially, once that's all installed, uh, we're able to add that into G. And as we see here is a Sonos demo. And uh, if we have a look here, if you note the 
uh, volume features of this particular Sonos player which it's talking to, uh, we're able to instantly control it through a LAN. So simply pressing the mute button instantaneously mutes uh, the player and unmuting. And similarly, if we change the volume, press and hold the volume up on the LAN and that pattern is copied instantaneously over into Sonos. And if you notice, it's also an absolute volume. So whatever volume the system is in a LAN is the volume which is transmitted to the Sonos. So if, for instance, somebody in the house has used the Sonos app and crank this volume right up here, say to 100%, obviously when the LAN system comes on, uh, the last thing we want is to then try and ramp the volume up even further. Uh, so that press remembers where it last was on a LAN and just repeats it and pulls the Sonos back in line. Uh, so essentially what we've been able to do is create a simple, easy to use driver uh, that uh, fills some of the holes which existed in the current platform. And over the next couple of videos, I'll detail the setup of these drivers in particular.